Hello, everyone. I have missed you all. Work has been really busy, so I've been doing some shorter educational content for you guys. But today I'm back to this format and we're gonna go over some new luxury beauty products. Now I have been on TikTok and Instagram quite a lot showing you guys budget friendly slash drugstore makeup. So for those of you that are looking for more of that price point, definitely check out my TikTok and my Instagram. But today we're gonna focus on some luxury. So let's get into some Chanel. Gucci and by Rado. Now, before we get into the makeup part, I always like to burn a candle while I'm editing or filming for you all. And this is the Brooklyn Candle Studio. I have several of these and I love them because they're around $35. It has jasmine, mandarin, and lavender. It smells beautiful. It is limited edition. It's called Love Potion. Highly recommend. The scent is very light. It's very relaxing. And if you happen to light it at night, it gives this beautiful orange glow. All right, let's start with Chanel. So many of you wanted me to purchase this and to try it on. So this is the Claude de Nuit Chanel eyeshadow palette. So let's swatch and try it on. Just to let you guys know, I did get a La Rouge lip to go with this, and I also have a new Byredo matte lipstick and then a Gucci lip liner to go with it. So stick with me while I try all these on and we'll see what they look like together. As always, I'm gonna show you guys two different ways to wear this, a soft day look and then something a little more smoky and sultry for day or night. All right, let's go ahead and first grab a little bit of this black at the very tip and I love to use the applicators that come with the luxury eyeshadow palettes, especially Tom Ford, he does some of the best. So I'm gonna show you guys how to use these today. I have a brown eyeliner from here outward and I'm gonna keep that and go right on top because I actually like the shape. So I'm just going to place that black color right on top of that eyeliner and then take my finger and lightly move up and then I'm going to stamp a little more of that black on the brow ridge. This is obviously the dramatic side. My MAC 217, just going to blend that out back and forth on the brow ridge. And I'm working up at an angle, not down, to keep the eye nice and open. And then I'll soften that line as well so it meets up. Adding a little more, I'm going to stamp that on the lower part of the brow ridge and into that crease. This is a stunning black because it has a little gray in it. So you're getting a boldness without a harshness. Now I'm gonna go in and grab this beautiful, matte, earthy, brown, almost clay colored shadow and place it on the outer edge towards the middle but not going into that middle quite yet. Working a little more onto that sponge tip applicator at a time. Now what I love about sponge tip applicators, you guys, is that it helps to not have fallout because a brush is gonna do its job. It's gonna kind of move around and kick up a product. So the sponge helps to push the product into that lid, onto the skin, and softly create a buildup of color. Now whatever's left over, I'm just going to stamp onto the outer corner, onto the brow bone, and just lightly move, but keep this area alone. We don't want to add too much color on that inner corner so that doesn't close up the eye. Now I'm working underneath the lash line and working up onto that line to kind of soften it and blur it a bit while bringing that outer corner together in a V shape. All right, let's take our next color, champagne gold, and we'll place it on the middle of the eye and into the inner corner. And I'm working really lightly. I don't want this to be a lot of contrast. I want it to be very soft because it's already a bold kind of palette with the black and the brown and the silver. So I would work with a lighter hand here unless you want something bold. Um, but for those of us who are in our 40s or who like a more natural look, I wouldn't go in with a heavy hand. Whatever's left, I'm going to lightly place under that brow bone. 
All right, taking a little of that silver, I'm gonna go and wiggle it right in the middle to create a nice little flick of light. Now let's not go too dark. I'm gonna grab a little bit of that brown and glide it underneath the lower lash line just to give a little shape, but keep it mid-level smoky. I'm taking the lipstick off because I don't like the way it looks with the shadow. And I want to try on the Chanel La Rouge lipstick with this look. And then we'll do the other eye. Let's try on the Chanel La Rouge Duo in Sweet Berry. I'm going to tell you guys right now, I wore these throughout my 20s. That's, I think, when they launched was back in 2000 and maybe seven or eight. That's when I was working for Chanel. Um, and I worked for Chanel for close to a decade, for those of you that don't know. And I have found nothing nothing as good as these i'm talking drugstore luxury prestige you name it there is nothing on the market like these lip stains so i'm going to show you guys exactly what i mean we're going to talk through this because it is worth the 45 dollars the one that's similar if you're looking for a budget friendly one is the maybelline and this is the super stay matte ink but nothing nothing like the la rouge duos so let's go ahead and try this on I'm going to tell you guys a couple key points of why they're absolutely the best, but let's first apply. Add the glossy clear side in a minute, but I want to talk about this for a minute. So first of all, you can build these up, which I love. It's like a light stain. And then on my third application, I get like this full saturated color. But I do want to note in between the full drying process, it's a bit sticky. <laughs> so you do have to let it sit. But once it's on, it is on. You can go out all night and wake up with these in the morning. And yes, by the way, in my 20s, it happened quite often. And I do want to do a quick kiss test here. Mwah, 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 mwah. Do you see? Do you see what I'm saying? Nothing on here. Nothing on here. It's not even all the way dry yet. So that'll tell you something. All right, let's go ahead and quickly add the gloss because this is one of my favorite parts because you can take this from a lip bitten soft matte look and then you can take it to a wet lacquered sexy look. So here's the clear. Besides its stain factor, to me, this is what separates these type of stay on budge proof lipstick stains to all the rest. And that is this gloss gives you a hydrated feel. So that way it doesn't feel sticky and it doesn't gather at the edges. And that's another thing about these. They're not super thick unless you go crazy with building them up. So you forget that they're on. I dare you to try to tell me that that is not so incredibly sexy and oh so chic. Okay, are we ready? Chanel, please never discontinue this formula. It is perfection. Let's go ahead and do the other eye now. Lipstick off and I use the Clinique Take the Day Off because it has a little bit of that oil in there to help break down the lipstick. We're gonna go ahead and try another liquid matte lipstick. This is a new one by Byredo. I got the color Martian Dust. Now I tried this color on the back of my hand but I have not yet tried it on my lips. So let's see what it looks like together. First of all, the bottle's really cool as all Byredo products are. They have a very modern kind of edgy look and feel to them. It feels nice and luxe. Retails for $50, feels great on the skin, and as you can see, is really pigmented right away compared to the Chanel, which is a little lighter, but like I said, don't mind because it helps you to kind of create the look that you want from lip bitten to fully pigmented. Now, a couple key points because I have not ever tried these on and I'm reading their website. It says that it is a vegan formula, 
weightless airy, soft focus effect, one stroke coverage, and lasting hydrating feel. Now it states that it's matte, it's creamy and long lasting, but it doesn't say like the level of longevity that it has. So I'll have to wear it for a bit and see, and feel free to reach out to me if you guys have any questions on duration. Let's try it on. Oh, this is a really pretty color. So I'm gonna go ahead now and use the tip to create a lip liner effect. And yes, I'm going above my natural lip line. Mm -mm 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 -mm. These feel good, you guys. Really good. Creamy. Clinging beautifully. They got the formula right. Absolutely. And the color payoff is really, really lovely. I'm going to put a little on my cheeks because you guys know I like to play with makeup in that way and see what it looks like. So I think this is going to be a beautiful, beautiful cream blush. Very spring and summer, really saturated color. So I have a little left on my finger and I'm going to do a little less on this side because I want it to be a little softer. And by the way, I like this lip with this eyeshadow better. Gray and orange together are perfection. All right, sticking with that orangey color, I have used this lip pencil before in a video maybe two years ago, and I had to get another one. That's how I know I really like something because in this world of makeup, especially as a makeup artist, I always want to try new things. So if I repurchase something a second and a third time, it's because I really love it. And what I love about the Gucci lip liner pencil, specifically this one, is the color. Now this is number 03. So I'm going to try this on with a true classic lipstick from the 90s. NARS brought out their original 90s lipsticks, and they're in these red cases. I'm not sure if they still have them, but if they do, I highly recommend getting a few, you guys. This is the color Morocco. It's going to go great with this pencil, which I'm going to show you guys right now. is this I mean mm, it's like the perfect orange not too bright not too yellow so it doesn't look sallow against the teeth or the skin I just love it all right everyone we hit the end of the video if you guys want to support the artistry education please use the links below it really helps me to continue to do this channel and don't forget to subscribe, leave me a comment, hit that like button. It's so greatly appreciated. If you guys haven't had enough, I do many tutorials on TikTok as well as Instagram. And if you guys would like to work with me as a professional makeup artist of over 25 years to create a unique look for you specifically, you can head to shrewvoyage.com. On there I have my portfolio. I'm starting to roll out some new merch for you all in the next couple months, so keep an eye out for that. And you can also book me online. All right, everyone, as always, continue to take care of you, continue to take care of each other, continue to be kind to one another, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye for now, everybody.